Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Basic Photoshop Tutorials. I know I've been gone a long time. It's, you know, it's just been crazy, but you guys don't care. Let's just do Photoshop. That's why we're here. Um, now, I'm going to officially call this Season 2. Uh, you notice we're in CS4 now. We moved up to the big leagues, even though CS5 is coming out. Now, that doesn't mean if you if you have CS3, CS2, and, and so on and so on, don't be discouraged. We're going to do a lot of stuff that you can do in pretty much every single uh, Photoshop. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Um, last video, I asked you guys to sort of give me some ideas of what you wanted to see. There was a lot of video processing ideas or a lot of, you know, touching on how to use video and how to incorporate video. Uh, I'm not very familiar with video. I'm slowly getting into it um, using, you know, uh, basically editing my, uh, my new videos for my other channel, which is going to be right here. And you can click on that to go check that out as well. Uh, and if you if you like the what you see in that other channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, anyways, let's do the Photoshop here. Uh, so photo processing is one I saw that was recently put on that video as a comment. So I'm going to do that. We're going to take this ordinary photo, which is just shot with a regular digital camera, and we're going to kind of make it look good. We're going to change the colors a bit. We're going to sharpen it up and make it look like it's, you know, even more like real life. So let's get right to it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just duplicate this layer so we can see what we've done in the in the newer layers. I'm just going to turn the old one off just for for because I like to do that. Basically, you don't have to. Uh, first thing we're going to do now is go to uh, Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Curves. And you know, Curves uh, Layer, will, you know, properties will come up. Don't worry about any of these. Just hit OK. Uh, and what you, you see here is now a little graph. It's uh, it's your curves basically now first thing we're going to do in this curves area here is we're going to grab this eyedropper. Now it's the black eyedropper. We're going to grab that and we're going to find the darkest piece on this picture uh, up in this window frame here. It looks pretty good. We're just going to left click once and you notice right away it kind of sharpens that image. It darkens it a bit. Puts the colors in perspective. Next thing we're going to do is we take the white one which is below the black one here. Grab the white one and find the whitest area you can. This looks pretty white up here. Now see that blasted it out too much. It's too white. Now, if you do make mistakes or you don't like what you see, choose another area. See, that one looks pretty good there. I like that area there, so I chose this little siding area uh, for the white. Now, already you can see that we've kind of, basically, we've done a little bit of sharpening, uh, a little bit of color change, and already it's starting to look a lot better uh, as opposed to the original. Now, we're going to go up here into our uh, curves adjustments uh, panel and what we're going to do is we're just going to left click once and you notice that a box comes up and we're able to drag this line around. Now what you want to do in this in this area here is try to find a nice happy median between light and dark. You don't want to blow it down here because that just changes everything and you don't want to bring it all the way up into here because you just overexpose it. Now you can do some funky effects with that too uh, but that's not what we're doing in this video. So what I want to do is I want to just sort of bring it up to a mid-range area. Right in this area here looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little more brightness there. So I'll really not change it too much, but again, what it does is it kind of darkens the dark areas, lightens the light areas. It kind of, you notice a little more in the image now that I've done that. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, or sorry, layer again. We're going to go to new adjustment layer and hue and saturation. And now the hue and saturation properties box will come up. Again, just press OK. Don't worry about any of those. And what we're going to do is very subtly just change a bit of the saturation. Now we don't want to br bring it all the way up to here obviously. And we don't want to bring it all the way down because that will make it black and white unless you're going for a black and white photo. Uh, so what we want to do is just bring it up near the 10 range or where, where you find that it sort of adds a bit of color to the image. I like 26 in this case. I mean, yeah, it might look a little too colory, but I like it in this case. It's a summer photo, so you know, let's add some color to it. Uh, 26 in that case, again, 10 to 26. 10 to 20 is usually where you want to be. Uh, and that's basically what we're going to be doing. Now, the last thing we're going to do is just select that layer one more time, uh, filter, and we're going to go to sharpen, unsharp mask, and this other box will pop up now. And now what we want to do in this one, this sharpens it. So you want to have your amount. I like to keep the amount around 100%. Uh, radius is what you adjust to sharpen the image. Now, if I bring the radius way up, the image is very sharp. Everything's sort of really kind of have an outline to it. It's very sharp. And when you get up into that range in there, uh, your image size, your file size is going to be huge. So you don't want to bring it up there. And again, you don't want to bring it all the way down because that's not doing anything. What I like to do is literally just keep it at one pixel. And that pretty pretty much is where I want to be. Well, 1.0, 1.5, depending. Uh, in this case, I'm going to probably bring it 1.2 just because of the grass. I don't want to blow that out too much. Uh, and it, this little box here is just to so kind of see, you know, is as your preview. So we're just going to hit OK on that. Again, 
100 is the amount, 1 1.2 is the radius, and the threshold is just a 1. You don't want to be work, you know, moving around with that too much. It does uh, The threshold will blur it a bit and kind of mash everything together. So just keep it at a 1 level, then that's fine. Hit OK, and essentially, you're done. You Basically, what we've done is we've taken an ordinary photo, sharpened it, and given it some color, made it look more like real life. And basically, what we've done is we've sort of, you know, taken all the color and the images and, and the image itself and made it a lot better. So that's where I'm going to leave it today. Uh, again, I appreciate the feedback. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to check out my other channel. Uh, rate, comment, all that stuff. I know that's a lot for you guys, but uh, don't worry about it. Any, everything you guys give me, any feedback, is much appreciated. And again, if anybody needs any help, don't hesitate to email me through YouTube or in my email. I believe it's on my channel. If not, I'll put it up. Uh, and again, thanks, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.